Okay, so I'm doing a little kitchen refresh for my good friend, and I'm going to painter cabinets, epoxy the countertops, and tile the backsplash. So I need to take off that little tiny backsplash, the laminate backsplash that's currently there. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, sorry about the vertical format of this. When I get into the meat of the matter, I, it does go to wide format, so the video gets better. But, so when I started taking this off, I really had no idea how this was even put together. So you want to start by just scoring the caulking that's holding the backsplash against the wall, and then get you a flat bar or something to put behind the wall just to pry it away from the wall and loosen things up so you can get in behind the countertop in between the counter and the backsplash because the backsplash is held on to the countertop with nails that come in from behind the uh, backsplash the nails the backsplash was attached to the countertop prior to it being installed. I didn't realize that until I got way around the other side. So anyway, get a flat bar or a multi-tool and wedge that in between the backsplash and the countertop in order to loosen things up so you can get in and um, you can see where the nails are. This is what I'm doing right now is I'm just feeling around for where the nails are so that I can get my sawzall into that crevice and cut those nails. And you want to make sure you get a, a metal blade on your sawzall to cut those nails. And um, get your sawzall down in there real good because otherwise it'll bounce like it's doing here. So I was able to pull the long piece off right here, cut those nails, and I broke it off. So I've got just this little short piece here and then that piece there but I'm taking off the laminate so that there's a little bit of space between the counter and the piece of wood so that I can get to the nail. Because I can't, it's in here kind of tight. And one way to do it. I actually dropped my hammer down back there and it's actually behind the cabinet box so I can't get it. So this will work. This will work. I just nailed, hammered it down and now I can just bondo over the top of this. So whatever works. Now I gotta get this piece. So, don't know what that nail is, but let's see, this might just be too much pounding. Okay. Okay. I was looking for my little hammer, which is now behind the wall over there. Got a big space here. There's a nail there, a nail there, sawzall with a metal blade. I see what the problem is. There's a piece of wood down there, and so the tip of my hand, uh, sawzall is just bouncing off of it. Got another one here. So I can't get my blade down far enough. It just keeps bouncing.
one nail in the center holding it. That nail right there. Let's see. Oh, I see. Okay, now I understand why they're like this. Why the thing is behind there? Because the <laughs> the countertop and the backsplash are put together in one piece, and then that whole thing is slid in. I get it now. Duh. Oh. Should have brought a better crowbar. Got this little baby thing. Oh, well, now I can cut that. Standing on a tarp and so I'm slipping. how I did the part where the backsplash was. I bought some one by twos and then I cut them to the depth of the space and um, put them in there. These are pretty tight in the space but then I used my pin nailer and just put a couple nails in here into the wall to hold them in place. They're not going anywhere. They're tight in there. And then over here I already got some Bondo on here. So uh, this is quick setting Bondo so it sets up in 15 minutes and I can sand it and then put another coat because I'll need to put another coat here which I'll probably have to put a couple shims there to fill that gap. But then over here nice and tight against the wall. And I ended up just running a bead of caulking over the Bondo to fill the gaps. And let me just say, you can only use Bondo if you're going to do epoxy. Don't try to use wood filler or anything else. It'll sag on you. So that's how I took out the backsplash. And this is the finished product, no backsplash. And I put in tile that, that my friend chose and then uh, epoxy the countertop. So check out the epoxy countertop video next. If you're getting ready to do epoxy, I have a whole series and I'll hook you up with the playlist here.